And we're continuing to follow breaking news on the Ansonia Derby line. There's been a heavy police presence there for quite some time investigating a police involved shooting. Absolutely. And some of the details here are so stunning as we yeah. bring Angelo Bavaro into the conversation. Angela, you were out there. I had you repeat the information twice the last time we, we were so joined surprised. you. Fill us in. Yeah, good morning, guys. Sources confirming those pretty chaotic details about what exactly led, off, led up to this officer-involved shooting. Again, this all happening right at the Ansonia Derby town line. I want to step out of the way, give you another good look at the scene before I repeat all the information about what exactly happened here. So again, we've got the Connecticut State Police Major Crime Squad truck out here. Behind that truck is where this investigation is unfolding. You can see that police tape that's up there. We've got police officers out here as well. So sources telling Fox 61 at about 7 a.m., two people approached a Derby police cruiser near this intersection and they were asking for help of some sort. And then as another car was coming down the hill, one of the two people that asked for help turned and fired at that car that was coming down the hill from the direction of Griffin Hospital. And that is when sources say the Derby officer opened fire on that person that turned to shoot at the car that was heading down the hill. Now, sources also telling us that that person that was shot was shot in the lower body and the injuries are not believed to be life threatening. So that is some good news. We're still waiting on an update about the condition of that person at this point. But as you can see, this investigation still very much going on. We've got police officers from Derby out here. We've seen Ansonia police officers as well, Seymour police, Connecticut State Police now on scene as well. So this has been going on for hours at this point. Tony Terzi is on scene as well. He's going to be picking up our coverage throughout the day. But for now, reporting live in Ansonia, I'm Angelo Bavar, Fox 61 News. And Angelo, just because some people are joining us for the first time this morning, if you would uh, refresh our memory as to what the witness told you. I know you spoke to someone who lives in that house just there behind you. What did that person see? Yeah, that witness lived in this house right here behind me at the corner. He's speaking to another reporter right now, it looks like, but he says he actually had gunfire that came through his house, looked outside the window around 7 o'clock this morning and saw two people lying on the ground, saw a police officer out here as well, just that single police officer. And then, of course, that rush of officers arrived on scene as well. He's trying to figure out what happened as well. So, of course, as we get any updates, we'll get those to you at home. All right, Angelo. Yeah, a lot of new information in the last hour. Thanks so much for getting us up to date. Yeah. What a bizarre case. What a bizarre situation. A there. bizarre situation. People Angela going to ask police for help and then opening fire on a vehicle that's coming down the street Unreal. in front of the police officer in front of the police officer. Uh, Tony's been working his sources. He's been emailing the newsroom. Angelo is a pro as mm -hmm. well. So we'll turn to the two of them as we learn more across all of our platforms. We do have another check of the forecast coming up.